you how to do uh, color separation in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and we want to just simply go to open the file that we're looking for. So I'm going to open this file here. Uh, it's already a standard PNG. So I am going to simply zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to make this 100. And I am going to grab the magic wand tool, which is over here in this left hand corner. And I'm going to select the magic wand tool. And I am simply going to select one color, okay, by right clicking on that one color with the magic wand tool. Then, I'm sorry, that was left click. So now I am going to right click on to reselect it again right click and then I am going to select similar uh, up at the top you'll see the tolerance is at 70 if you're not able to pick up what you need or maybe the colors are off you know maybe you're dealing with uh, blended colors or something like that you might just want to uh, play with that tolerance so I'm gonna hit similar and I've just quickly selected everything that was similar to the color white. Now, I am going to simply right click again and I am going to hit layer via copy. Over here in this corner over here, you'll see that it has created a new copy. So this is the original layer here. And this is the new copy that I just made. So if I deselect, layer one now we have this layer all right so we're gonna go back to layer one and i am going to select the black all right so make sure that when you go back that you have the uh, box here covered and you want to have that eye drop open so make sure you're on the correct layer because it will let you select things on the wrong layer all right so we got the correct layer here and it looks like I got black selected. It looks like I got all of black selected, but I'm just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna hit similar. All right, and then we're gonna hit layer via copy. All right, so I have now copied the black layer. So if I move this, now we have a black layer and a white layer. All right, and that's how you do that. Now, to save this to put into my cutting machine, I'm going to go File, Save As, Save on your computer or wherever you want to save it, Download, Save a Copy As, this is on a Mac. Uh, but ultimately what you want to do if you're on a Windows computer is eventually get to the point where you can save as PNG. So I had to do an extra step it changed you uh, so I'm hitting save as PNG and I'm going to save this as okay, white okay, layer okay, and I'm going to be uh, Put in there if you want. All right, and then I'm gonna hit save. Save. All right, so we have that layer saved. Uh, so now I'm gonna file, save as, save on your computer. All right, and I wanna hit that save copy again. And I want to change it to from a Photoshop file to PNG file. And I am hitting save. Large file. All right. So now we're going to go over here to our Cricut design software. Where I was having issues with doing this on the Cricut. So I'm going to hit back out. Back out. So I'm going to import a file. I want my black layer. Oop, that was the PNG I said by mistake. So I want my black layer. I'm sorry, P PSD. So I want my black label layer PNG 
continue, apply, continue, cut, upload. All right, next one we're gonna go, upload, browse, white layer, open, complex, that's how I say them. continue, Continue. Is cut. Upload. All right. So now I'm ready to take both of these and add to the canvas. All right. All right. Now, when you bring them in, just make sure you select both of them uh, before you change the size. So I'm going to select both of these. Or I could align both of them up and change the size. All right, so I'm gonna select my color for this one. I believe this one should be white. Yep. And then this one was black. All right, but I'm gonna change this to something else. Visible. All right, just changing it to something else. All right. So. There you have it. 